Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Saturday, the 19th of October. I consider it a very special date, 19, 10, 19. Today, I want to release upon you the blessing of God in a double measure in the name of Jesus. Our seed of destiny today is titled The Demands of Marriage, Man's Responsibility. We started looking at the issue of marriage yesterday, and today I want to look specifically at man's responsibility. The Bible says, Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Thought for the day. Any man who is giving to beating his wife is not a man enough. He is not qualified to be married in the first place. I'm sorry to say that, but that's the fact. Marriage is a relationship that places so much demands on patience and tolerance. That is why there is a popular saying that marriage is not for boys or for immature people. Indeed, marriage is for the mature. And maturity comes with a lot of responsibilities. Below are some of the uh, responsibilities I'll be enumerating to the man for his wife uh, for a good marriage. Tomorrow we'll look at for women. Number one is love. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 25. This is an unrestricted affection that emanates from a man's heart towards his wife. Number two is sacrifice. Hebrews 13, 16 tells us this is the extent that the man is willing to go for his wife in giving and in forbearance. Number three is forgiveness. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. This is realizing that your wife is not perfect the same way that you are not perfect. Therefore, be quick to forgive her whenever she offends you. And the tragedy today is that some men act so heartlessly towards their wives because of their inability to forgive themselves. Some even beat their wives. The truth is any man that is given to beating his wife is not man enough. He is not qualified to be married in the first place. If you must fight, why don't you go out there and engage a street gang or street gangster who uh, has been waiting for an opportunity to fight? That's what my husband says all the time. Beloved, you must realize that you didn't marry somebody's daughter to turn her into a punching bag. You married her to be responsible for her. You married her to love her as yourself. You married her to care for her and to reduce the burdens of her life. Today, I prophesy fresh grace in your marriage, in your home, in your relationships. The last time you failed in your marital responsibilities is the last time forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember this, that any man who is giving to beating his wife is not man enough. He is not qualified to be married in the first place. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment? Number one, determine to discharge forgiveness in the direction of your spouse effortlessly. Number two, make up your mind never to raise your hand against your wife. And thirdly, ask God for the grace to daily forgive your spouse. Forgiving each other is vital to be responsible and to be responsible for your spouse. Praise God. I know that this wasn't very palatable, but we needed it. Let's pray together. Say, Father, I ask that you please forgive me and grant me the ability to rapidly forgive my spouse. I refuse to be an agent of offense. Help me to love my spouse unconditionally in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for somebody today who wants to say, Pastor, pray for me. I'm guilty of what you just talked about. Uh, or you want me to pray for you to be born again. I'll pray for both of you together. Say this after me. Father, I am sorry for any way I've conducted my life that does not please you, particularly in my relationship with my spouse. Please forgive me in Jesus' name. And today, I pray that you come into my life and be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. I'm now born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day.
is a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place.